Good morning and good afternoon. Thanks for joining Safety Chain today uh, for our customer success story. We're sitting down with uh, Eric and Bell from Claxton Poultry talking about uh, how they went digital to support BRC, HACCP, SSOP, food defense, like the whole thing. I'm really happy to uh, have them uh, on the line. Um, and we're gonna talk about some real-time visibility that they gained through, uh, through this whole process. So um, next slide real quick. The, um, background before we get started is, um, you know, hey, we want to make sure that everyone knows we, we can't hear you, but uh, we do want to hear from you. So please use that. Yeah, if you want to go, if you, I think, press the right arrow key bell. Or not. We can, we can just have the chat here. It's okay. <laughs> no worries. So uh, as we go through the, the uh, webinar, uh, let's see if I can um, make sure everyone knows. There we go. I'm going to try and hit that. There we go. All right, perfect. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Um, right. well, um, we're, we're, we're just going to have a, a great conversation with uh, Eric and Bell. They're on the line. I'm going to introduce them in a second. Before we do, though, I just wanted to make sure everyone understands how this works. We're going to have an informal conversational approach. We want to hear from you. Please ask questions using that little webinar, go to webinar panel that you see probably on the right of your screen. Um, you're only going to hear us. Uh, we won't hear you, but again, we do want to hear from you. So uh, send us those questions. We'll get to those towards the end because we've got a lot of really cool stuff to go through uh, with Claxton. So um, after this is all done, yes, you will absolutely get the recording to this session. You can share it with all your friends and family and uh, also, the slide deck will be shared as well. So uh, if anyone is having troubles right now listening or hearing, rather, <laughs> um, uh, it's often best uh, uh, solved by just using the call-in number that you can, you can also uh, call in. So um, for anyone who doesn't know, if you go to the next slide, please. For those that may be unfamiliar with Safety Chain, we are the number one uh, plant management platform. Um, and we focus on three core areas. Um, production, which is you know, your yield with, uh, with SPC and OEC, o, uh, excuse me, OEE. Quality, of course, is what most folks um, and most of our customers um, are most familiar with, um, uh, food, food uh, QMS, and also compliance, such as you know, um, your internal, external audit. Um, GFSI, think about all those programs that you have to run to make sure that um, USDA and FDA are happy with your facilities. Um, that's what we do. So, um, and, you know, we, we kind of call it its uh, uh, end to end, you know, the, the raw materials coming in the front side and then the, uh, the finished materials, the finished food coming out the uh, other side of your facility. We got you covered. So um, next slide. We got a great uh, lineup. So really happy to introduce uh, Eric Sorrell, who is the plant manager for Claxton Poultry, and uh, Eric, you've been um, you've been there since college, I think. Is that right? That's right. I'm happy to be here. Um, yeah, I started out in food safety right out of college, and I've been with the company for 15 years now. Ah, uh, very good, very good. So you've seen it a thing or three. <laughs> That's right. And. Uh, and Bell Mathis uh, is the production manager, also at Claxton. Um, Bell, you've been there how long now? How are you doing today, Aaron? I'm good, thank you, and uh, thank you for joining us. Um, you've been at Claxton, I think, five years or more. Is that about right? That's correct. So tell us how you got started. You, 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 when we spoke before this, and we kind of put our notes together to go through this conversation, you, you said it was an internship program. Tell, tell us where, that, where that's gone and where you're at now. So yeah, I started, um, actually, I started in live hang my first day. And I worked through each department in the plant. And um, now I am in production. I was in food safety for four years. And Very good. Yeah. Awesome. And you, you kind of know the, the plant front to back is it, through that training and, and just having uh, had the experience there. You, you, you've got uh, your thumb on the pulse of class and poultry pretty much, right? Pretty much. He does. Yeah. 
Cool, cool. And, and then a little bit about Claxton. So uh, a lot of people should already know, uh, but it's a family owned egg to market poultry processor, um, very state of the art uh, chicken deboning and packing uh, facility in Sylvania, Georgia. That's the new facility, right guys? That is uh, correct. That you'd started up. Okay. Yep, we've, been open in, we've been open for about a year now. Ah, oh, perfect. Yep, good. Good, and, and with that, that new facility, um, that you guys got a lot of, uh, you had a lot of decisions to make, like how do we want to run these operations, you know, from the, the plant equipment, uh, you know, all of the, uh, the details on who's going to stand where and what room and how's coming, you know, how, how coming, how are uh, uh, chicken coming in and out the door. So, um, and you, one of the things, and we'll get into this uh, uh, in a little bit, you, you wanted to just kind of go paperless, right? And, and really take those food safety and the, the, the quality programs digital right and so that's kind of yeah. was that the impetus to start looking for a solution like safety chain yeah that, that's correct um and during the design phase um we're looking at building um the plant that we, we decided we did not want to build a room just for filing cabinets so it was a, a paperless <laughs> system was seemed like the, the way to go um so we yeah. needed a we needed something to, to be able to help satisfy that i want to get out of the old-fashioned filing cabinet system <laughs> the big gray metal uh, pullouts, right? The uh, right. that uh, the <laughs> and these are common. I, I you know it's still uh, it, it's still a common thing. It's important to have these records, right? That's the whole part of running these safety programs, running these quality programs, is to say, hey, w you got to be able to show people the the folks, uh, you know, both internally and externally, whether you're talking about. Uh, the, the government regulations or your your biggest client, you got to make sure everyone can have that confidence that you're running those programs. And so that's basically where those records usually uh, are are uh, stored. Um, if you go to the next slide, um, let's jump in. There's definitely a lot of challenges with opening up a new facility, right, Eric? I mean, you had, you, you know, outside of the equipment, it's all the processes. You've got to envision, you know, how does this thing work and so what were some of the, 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 the problems or opportunities that Claxton Poultry um, wanted to solve? And then you can go forward one slide. There you go. Um, we're, uh, I mean, like I kind of mentioned earlier, we wanted to uh, streamline the, the process, something that would be state of the art and efficient and seamless and um, a little bit easier to run. Um, but starting with a new facility, um, we wanted to be able to go paperless, like we, like I mentioned earlier, um, and it's something we wanted to trial out for our our main our main plant. Um, we wanted to be able to implement some of these these forms and this paperless system, and then when it was time to to implement them to our main plant, that it would be a lot more seamless. Yeah, this is definitely you know going paperless. I I have this conversation a lot with um, just my internal team here at safety chain but also customers it's like what do you how do you say you know going digital or going paperless it's, it's basically the same thing right but right. poultry's got poultry's got heavy regulatory challenges i mean you know just the name salmonella is you know sends shivers down the spine right so you got to make sure everything's tip top this new facility um going paper based um it was really um really to kind of help scale the growth of the the company as well right so um sounds like you 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 knew you all had a, a big um quick serve restaurant um uh customer coming in and they needed some very specific data reports daily too didn't they that's right and they they still do that needs still there um, we also came in <clears throat> to a brc audit about six months after we started up um and uh in the scheduled food safety audit so um those were challenges that we we're gonna have to meet um and, and, it, and it really helped going forward and implementing safety chain with that yeah we actually started talking bell and and eric we started talking i think in january or february this year right and we had to put everything on hold because of this crazy pandemic that's running around but but um when we were talking then you 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 talked about it uh, as it was almost like a full-time job, just this running around, making sure you had the right check, making sure that the um, the safety programs that were then on paper and pencil, which is again 
the, the you know what you wanted to move away from but you, it was almost a full-time job can you talk about like what that looked like on, on the day-to-day -day? yeah it was uh making number one setting up the form being a new facility and, and making sure that our our HACCP, our food safety i mean our ssop and all our prerequisite forms were one done and working right and then um making sure that they're filed right and then everything that was was turned in on time and and done correctly so we had that challenge of starting up on a, a paper system until we could fully implement the safety chain system and um so it was it was it was very time consuming. Um, Bill spent a lot yeah. of her time doing that. Yep. Yeah, one and of the you, good things you, about, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, please. One of the good things about Safety Chain is it, it, um, it, I guess, eliminates some thinking. Um, you can't, re you can't mess up on things. You, you can't, you know, you don't have to scratch out. If you, you know, made a mistake or you can set builds that don't allow you to make mistakes. So um, that's helped a lot. Uh, it's it's reduced the amount of time it takes to verify and check and make sure that, you know, we put in the right date and, you know, we filled the form out completely. Um, we didn't miss a field, so. Yeah, that's good. Cause you know, what's, what's worse, right? Like one, taking, they call it an hour to to hunt down that one check that you're looking for, right? On paper, where's it at? Is it in the filing cabinet? Maybe it hasn't made its, uh, its way to the, the spreadsheet yet. Maybe it hasn't made its way to the email that everyone gets, right? But then finding it and it's not filled out right. And you're like, oh, now you got, now what would you do, right? Bell, what would you do if you found that and you'd have to go and read? You have, would you do a recheck? What would happen there? So I'd have to find the person that filled it out and ask them you know what happened why isn't it complete what is the information that should be here what what happened if it was there was product affected or if something you know is in question you know what do we need to put this on hold is there something we need to do to, to make sure that it's safe product or this is, this is documentation again of an error a filing error of a, yeah. whatever it may be it's just more time consuming to to document things that more should have been documented first right the first time yep yeah, that's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, you, you felt like, I remember you guys were saying this, you felt like some days you walked into a mess, right? Like, and, and you wanted to have, it, it, at the core of all this, right, Bill, Eric, is, is you, you wanted to just have more time to work on the stuff that you should be working on, like the business, and not just getting bogged down and finding those files, putting out fires, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if you go to, so what was the whole scope like if you if you looked at this the scope of this like because you you all have a lot of programs right i mean and That's right. we came in and there was a lot of forms if you just walk us through the the, the program uh that we we started out with yeah for for food just for the food safety programs we have to um to meet the brc standard um and then all, all and that encompasses everything that we do with HACCP, SSOP, SOP, our pre all our prerequisite programs, everything that falls inside this building. Um, and then we've added our quality programs too. Um, we do our um, quality for our, for our internal customers um, and, and everything else, the food defense, every um, pre-op, packaging and shipping, you name it. Um, Food safety has, or the safety chain has a platform there that was a, enabled us to, to to implement all of these programs. It includes all the way antimicrobial, our product temps, and um, our production paperwork. Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, end to end, it was, it was really, uh, and you know, we we of course also um, had your implementation manager, uh, David, and and he was a help there. And we'll get into a little bit of David later, but he, you know, him, he and I spoke, and one, he loved what you guys were doing, thought you guys were really well put together. You had your forms, you you had a really good grasp of all of what you needed to do and what we wanted to lift and shift over into a digitized platform and go digital. And uh, and yeah, he he uh, he said when well, you guys showed up, a lot of forms. You guys had a lot of forms. Uh, so and we we got to work on those um, right away. So 
this was again for the Sylvania plant, right? So we're coming in just as a reminder for the, the, the audience, we, we're coming in and you're just starting this with the new facility um, to, to, to really kind of from the ground up, make that more seamless, all of these processes, right? So, right. well, if we go to the next, uh, if we go to the next one, you know, the, the next question I always ask is, you know, so you have choices, right? When you're considering a solution, um, what did you guys think about? What were some of the key points that you needed to make sure were, were, were just in, 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 you know, available to you? If you go to the next slide there. Um, yeah, sure. Being a new facility, we, the flexibility was a big key. Um, everybody's got kind of a different process. Um, and it's something that we wanted to be able to tailor our checks to our process. So we needed a platform that was going to give us that flexibility to, to, to do that. Um, and then we wanted to make sure that we had access, quick access to this data. Um, and then in my previous life before safety chain, I, I could just countless times I'd spend in the QA manager's office, through safety office, or looking, trying to get some data together about the process that I help me manage it better. Um, so I, we, we really wanted something that was going to give us quick access to this data. It's going to allow us to make more informed decisions um, and it'd be quicker. So make, kind of give us a more proactive approach rather than constantly reactive. A lot of data. We can make, you know, we can see it now. We don't have to wait till the next day to, or then, you know, maybe an hour or two later to make a decision. You can get it right then and there once they submit it. Yep. And it's also with alerts too. If something's wrong, you're going to get it, it. Somebody doesn't have to come find you to tell you, right? You have the alert set up, I think, Bell, in a way that says it's meaningful, right? Now, if you get this alert, now you, you only have to focus on if there is a real problem. You don't have to focus on finding any problems. They, they come to you. Now, I know that's kind of cliche, but <laughs> you know, problems always come find us, right? But in, in general, um, Y'all wanted to just be able to see the data, all of that stuff that we put in those filing cabinets, right? All of that stuff. You pull out one piece of paper, you know exactly what happened by looking at that piece of paper, but it's one data point. Now it's like you, you wanted to have all of that paper from those, those filing cabinets in a system that actually showed you charts and graphs and showed you, this was important for both of you as I understand it, the trend. How are we doing through time? Talk a little bit about what that visibility has done, you know, just that, 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 um, that data analysis side, being able to make um, uh, faster and more informed uh, decisions. Give me maybe an example, if you, you can think of one, Eric or Bell, where you're able to make that uh, decision factor. Um, I, just a, an example that we kind of implemented here recently, um, it's just to implement a yield check um, on, our, on our frames. They're kind of going off, and if we set up a QA check to, to evaluate kind of the yield that's going to our offall um, versus what should or shouldn't be there, then it's data that's available, readily available there for everybody to see within minutes um, versus on a paper check where you have to wait and constantly make an effort to go over there and look at it. Um, but it's, it's something that that's helped me out a lot from a plant manager standpoint. Um, it's just freed up more time for me um, to be able to look at this data kind of in real time. Yep. Yep. I, and something you said earlier to Eric is, is uh, striking me too. Just, I, you know, the, the flexibility that you needed, you said people had their, everyone had a particular process, right? It was on paper. You wanted these checks. They did it at this specific time. Uh, of either the batch or or a time of day or however the, the processes were set up, but because everyone had their own sort of way of doing things, you needed that that flexibility. You needed a tool that was like very robust architecturally, right? So I'm going to right. kind of software geeky here, but the architecture of the software it, it's important, right? It needed to make sure that you could check this one very specific box. And if that wasn't checked, what happened? And then maybe, are you guys also using sign off as well? We are. Yeah. And, and so instead of having to take that piece of paper, find it and then do the check and then do it, it's all, tell us a little bit about, are you uh, using tablets? Are you using 
um, the the uh, Windows workstation. How how does this look on the the plant floor? Oh, we can barely hear you, Bill. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me better now? You got it. Yep. Yeah. So we're we're mostly using tablets um, for all of it, QA, food safety, production paperwork. However, we do have two stations with industrial computers that the safety chain app is downloaded on. And um, we just started using those. So it's really, I mean, you can use it on anything. Um, it's super easy to get to. Yep. And likewise, you can get to the reporting on that same tablet, right? So Eric, uh, when, when you're maybe not on the plant floor, but you need to find out, hey, wait, how did that work or how did that go? Or maybe you got an alert, you're able to kind of pull it up really quick. Do you do either of you just curious uh, use the mobile phone app or are you guys mostly tablets? It's mostly tablets, but I'll, I, I like the um, anytime there is a, an issue with a, with a check, whether we're out and plots out of compliance with respect to customer um, attribute or uh, the SSOP or an effort check, it's automatically sent to my email, which I get to my phone. So I, I like that I'm always up to date on what's going on. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And and again, that that goes to that flexibility. It's it's kind of like what what do you want to use, right? We don't have this pre-built notion of you have to use this specific workstation. You have to have this type of a operating system. You know, some some software you you get stuck on Windows. You know, this is fine. This is an app based or web based, right? Which is that web browser we talk about or you know mobile. So it's it's how you really needed to run your facility ground up. So. Great details. I appreciate that. So if we if we think about then um, some of the keys to success, right? And we're talking about implementation. Okay, you said okay, safety chain. We're going to go with safety chain. You looked at some solutions. Safety chain. We're going to go now. During implementation, this is critical, right? Because it's about new facility. You have a lot of other things happening. What are some of the drivers of just you know? This, you succeeding, Clax and Poultry had success. What did you have to think through for that implementation? So the biggest um, factor here is making sure that you're organized, you have everything ready, you know, what forms do you need to, to create? What forms can you combine together? Because, you know, a piece of paper, you run out of room, you can only put so much on, on one piece of paper, right? Um, and just going through and pulling all that together and deciding, you know, which one is going to be the easiest one to make, um, the quickest one to, to build. And then, you know, really that's where, where I started was easy, check, get it out of the way, uh, make sure it's what we want, and then continue down until all of the forms are ready to go. Yeah, and, and that's great. I the, the forms that you brought to the table, first of all, I remember David, the impl implementation manager, was like saying, he was very complimentary. He's like, okay, Bell had her stuff together, right? Like she definitely knew what she needed. She had it lined up. Um, you said you had kind of an, uh, a spreadsheet of, of all of the different forms. Was there any sort of attack plan, if you will, Bell, of like, hey, which are the big ones we wanted to tackle first or last? Or was there any method that you, you'd recommend? Um, well, I would, I would recommend doing it by program if you have multiple different programs and then, you know, work your way through those forms, the ones that are easiest to make, make those first and then work your way down. So like HACCP, I would, I would make all those first because you, you don't want to have a few pieces of paper that you're filing for that, for that program, um, in, or with SSOP. Um, so, and like the bigger ones, obviously I'll do first as of SSOP prerequisite, prerequisite programs. There's, there's a lot that goes into those and, you know, it takes a lot of time. So truly I would do it by program if, if there was, mm. you know, a specific way you wanted to do it. That's the easiest way to tackle it. Yeah. To just wrap the whole problem, get, go program to program for door to door, making sure everything's um, put in and then, 
Uh, how about testing? Did you guys do uh, uh, testing before you went live with all of this to make sure that you were comfortable and confident things were going to be working? Of course, David would not let us go live without testing. <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. Oh, yeah so there's a, there's plenty of testing to go making sure you know because you've got a lot of stakeholders right you you you, you both said uh that you know you've got uh, an enthusiastic crew everyone you know they were in it right they wanted to get it done right so um uh testing was definitely uh, a part of this and then um talk to us a little bit about the david factor you talked you know i you know again sad cliche sorry but like you know you know giving someone a fish versus teaching them how to fish. Why don't you walk through the, the David factor for us, Bill? How did he help? What was his approach? So David was really big on making sure that um, whoever he's teaching, but I, you know, obviously me in this situation, that I could do it. Um, he, would, he would make me, his big famous words in my opinion are, I'm gonna let you drive. And so then, you know, he'd make me show him that I could navigate the platform and that I could do it. Or, you know, instead of just, hey, this is what you do, pull this in, add that, and, and just showing me, he would, you know, make me drive and make me show him. And, and it's not, and it's great because I completely understand how to do, I mean, pretty much anything in there that I have access to. So, um, which made it a lot easier for us and a lot quicker for us to be able to implement and also to, you know, now that David has, you know, moved on, but he's still there. If we need him. Um, yeah. And he's not, you know, make, making those forms for us that I can do it and I'm confident. So. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. The, the implementation is key, right? I mean, we definitely have a, a world-class support team as well. So if you ever need to chat in or email or call, we're always there, right? But but David does take this really unique approach that I think worked for Claxton, right? Which was, you all wanted to own this thing. You want to run your plan. You don't want to not be able to, like, let's say you guys have to do another um, form or process or anything like that. We We, we really wanted you all to feel confident in being able to spin up a new program if you needed to. Uh, uh, and that, that leads to that second facility, right? The bigger facility, which we'll get to in a second. But I mean, this was, again, we wanted to put this in Sylvania, make sure that it worked and then scale it to the rest of the, the, the um, plants. So good, good. Um, how was communication? How was, you know, like going back and forth was, you know, how did that look? Were you guys meeting weekly? Did you guys maybe meet? daily what did that kind of uh, look like oh <clears throat> uh, it was a weekly schedule um we'd set up and have a time and a day every week like say thursday at 10 a.m and um you know it's just there we know that's going to happen and he would keep us on schedule and make sure okay hey we want to get this done in 30 days we've been you know working on it for six what do we got to do to make sure that we're going to get there um I need this, make sure we're getting, you know, the information um, sent out and put together. And, you know, what do you need from me so that, you know, we can get it done. And you're not just yeah. sitting there twiddling your thumbs like, how do I do this? <laughs> That's good. No one, no one should be twiddling thumbs. No one. <laughs> good. Good. All right. Well, so that was the implementation. It went well. Uh, we focused on some key uh, some key people in the process to make sure that they were aware and everyone's getting it right. Okay. So uh, moving on, what some, if, if you had to just kind of look back and say, okay, now that it's implemented, we've got safety chain in place, the programs are running, the HACCP, the SSOP, pre-shipped, all of, all of the programs are going. If you go forward one, what, what, you know, talk to us just about sort of the, the main benefits that, that uh, Claxton Poultry has seen. So it definitely reduced the time that we have to spend every day filing papers, verifying papers, um, any kind of audits we've had to do. Um, we did a BRC audit. Eric mentioned that early, earlier in a scheduled FSA. Um, it sped up the time we spent pulling up records for them. 
we could we could you know pull up that form and go through all of those um whatever records we had for it through months and you know there's no veering off into like oh well what's this you know flipping through the packet and you know <laughs> there's there's other things there not that it's bad i mean it's just you know oh well, oh, well i want to see you know these and then it leads to digging up more paperwork to for them to look at so yeah and, and that you know what bill is a common uh a anecdote we hear which is you know when your auditor is in there let, let's just pull it they can look at anything they want okay they can go ahead and pull out that big filing cabinet and run through it all day if they want but you know, at the end of the day they're they're people they've got they've got a family they want to go home and eat <laughs> maybe watch a game uh or or you know whatever it is making it easy for them to stay focused on just the information they need is a big factor of how this comes down in in time right so i think you guys did the fsa audit as well um and it, so you you had been doing the fsa audit before safety chain right uh, and then after safety chain the brc was was full new right like that was a new audit was that is, is that correct well the main plant we've done it for several years now mm -hmm. um we just had to do you know we had to get certified over here as well so we've been through it um mm -hmm. it's you know it's just really and truly it wasn't new it's just slightly more tailored to this okay. facility Got it. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. And so uh, it, it would take, you know, kind of like when we were talking before, about a half day to put all this stuff together for an auditor, right? And just get all the paperwork lined, all, all, all the paper lined up, make sure it's in order. Um, check it yourself, right? Because you don't want to give something to an auditor that you haven't looked at recently. So tell me about that. Like, that, you know, now what does it look like for that audit, whether it's BRC or FSA? Well, with the record review in the safety chain platform, um, once you sign it off, I mean, you you're you know it's good. Like you don't have to go search a form down. You know that it's in there. Um, that it got, I guess you could say, virtually filed in the right place. Um, mm -hmm. There, I mean, in my opinion, it, it's a lot. It's a lot more secure um and easy to find and quick to pull up and like you said they can look at anything they want to in the matter of seconds yep and that leads right to the visibility part right so before safety chain y'all thought okay what it sounded like is you, you, you were doing paper you fill out the form the form would then get manually inputted to a spreadsheet and then and then an email right so talk me through that process now that you don't have to wait for that what is it like, right? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot easier to read it. I want to see. Um, I was always, seemed like I was always kind of behind the, kind of just in the reactive mode, trying to play catch up with, okay, what, what happened the night before the shift, before the end of the shift, um, trying to get access to the data with questions. The customer quality part. Um, but now when we set up those dashboards or trains and take the chain, it's, you can see it there. It helps you make those decisions that you need to about the process quicker. Um, you can devote more time to process improvements rather than tracking down data. Yeah. And that's what we really spent a lot of time talking about, Eric, right there. That right there. As a plant manager, you, you you want to have the confidence and, and the ability to check on all the safety quality programs. All of those things have to just be run to like a top. Now you're able to spend more time doing a few other things that really impact the business more, right? Talk us through some of the yield projects or, or training that you were able to kind of um, start. You, you got more time in the day now. <laughs> what, are you using, what are you using with you? I know you're not just sitting back relaxing. <laughs> No, that's right. With the new facility, that was a that was a huge. You know, it's been open for a year now. I can't. How important training is not necessarily from the only employee standpoint, but from supervision standpoint or management standpoint. Um, being able to constantly reevaluate our, our um, 
the way we we think about training and what how can we change our training to improve the process that's, that's always an ongoing thing and having more time to dedicate the time different ways of training our, our team and our staff to make more lasting improvements and it, it, it helps them immensely yeah, and that's, I mean, that's, that's where we want to get, right, with all of our businesses, no matter if you're, you know, uh, uh, in, in poultry, like Claxton is, or if you're in coffee, or, 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 or fruits and berries, like, at the heart of it, what you really want to do is improve yield, right, maximize productivity, and just ensure that there's all the compliance and the quality going on, like, you just kind of make sure and have that confidence those things are going on, and that's when, you know, the, 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 the revenue side, the profitability side, that starts to come into play a little bit more. So and we, and we see this um, across all of the, the, the safety chain customers, of course, but yours was interesting because, um, and we do have some questions. We're going to be wrapping this up here in a little bit. Um, so keep the questions coming uh, anymore. Uh, we'll, we'll get to them in just a minute. But you get, you know, you start with Sylvania. Let's talk a little bit now about what, what's going on with the, the larger facility. Um, um, the the safety chain is in the the newer facility state of the art going right um you're you're sending daily reports to that that large customer and and um they're ho hopefully happy with those right um what what's next what's that bigger facility look like well bill actually it's been some time today with the qa manager the new or the the main facility today kind of Getting them up to speed on forms, how to how to make forms, what forms they're going to need, and start going over the checklist of kind of what are they going to need, what forms that we have can translate that we can move over. Um, yeah. We're working with David again. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we got we got him again. Yay! Um, <laughs> so on the implementation, and he's got us on a weekly ten o'clock at on Thursday uh, meeting to keep us on schedule. And we're constantly communicating with him throughout the day um, on, you know, resources that need to be added, um, product codes so that we can link those to our, our checks. And, you know, um, he's been training Mike, the, the QA manager um, over there on how to, you know, build some forms and get him um, confident in his abilities to navigate and use and control the safety chain over there. There is a lot more forms <laughs> for that yeah. facility. So he probably <laughs> is like, oh no, but we're gonna get it done. There's a lot that we can reuse, we can repurpose, mm -hmm. we can, you know, with what we already have here. And that's the great thing is you, you know, it's, it's separate facilities, but they're intertwined in, in safety chain. So that you know, it, it takes away a lot of the the work that we've already done. Yeah, good. And and so I'm gonna relay that to David. I love that. We got David again. Yay! <laughs> so I'll make sure you know. So and he's doing the same thing, right? You know, we're teaching you how to do this. It's not here. We're just gonna like install this and then and then we're gone. So that's good. And and an interesting part too, as you uh, pull this this bigger facility into this process into the the software what you'll see is that you don't have it's all right there all of those filing cabinets are still just basically on that tablet and now mm -hmm. you can start to really step back eric right if you're looking at this you're going to say i've got two facilities that i can monitor and operate on one place right and know exactly where everything's at at all the time right so and all of those time savings right that we were talking about with the sylvania it's going to be right there uh, for the bigger facility as well, maybe even more because there's obviously a much larger facility. So. We're super excited. Good. Yeah, good, good. Well, let's wrap it up here, guys. I, I've got a couple of questions for you. A couple of questions came in uh, from the crowd here. The, um, the first one um, uh, was really, uh, uh, actually, uh, before I, I, I wanted to ask my, myself, uh, Eric, you, you recently went on vacation. And I wanted to just talk about that a little bit. When you went on vacation, you one, it's not easy to just let it all go, right? But you have to because you got a family and you got to spend time, right? So 
when you were on vacation, what did that look like? Were you checking in? Were you, did you, were, did you feel like, you, you know, were you looking at the mobile app or talk us through what, what vacation looked like with, with Safety Chain? Oh, I can barely hear you. Uh, Eric, can you, uh, yeah, anytime I, how about now? Can you, can you hear me now? Yep. Now, yeah, you're live and, and, and good to go. Well, anytime I've been on vacation, I've always had a fear that something crazy was going to happen when I was gone. And, you know, it, it's all, I just, I kind of want to still be in touch, I don't, but it, not manage every day to day operations. But it's, it's good that I have all those uh, notifications on emails and I can follow what's going on with the plant. And, and, I, if there is something there, then I can, if something does happen, then I, I get that notification and I can call in and, and handle whatever I need to. But it's it's nice knowing that I won't miss out on any on any important information that or something that may happen. <laughs> That's good. And then, you, it, and then, you know, we all dread that day after vacation, right? Because you got to come right. back and it's like, it takes forever to catch up and you get all this stuff. How, how did that first day, I, how, how, how long did it take you to catch up? Everyone knows, um, right? It was, it, day, it was about a day and a half. Um, and yeah. Safety Chain does help with the reporting. If you build your dashboards and everything, that it's all up to date when you get back. There's no coming in and um, entering spreadsheets for the last week and a half or however many days you've been out. Um, if your dashboards and trends are built correctly, then it, it's, it's already there. So it definitely yeah. saves time. Awesome. Good. That's good to hear. All right. Next question we do have from Frank. Appreciate it, Frank. Um, so he, he's asking, how, how do you verify the digital document? Okay. Oh, Belle, you're, you're, back at, you're, you're in the background again. Can you come forward? Yeah. So there's two. Can you, am I clear? You're good now. Okay. So there's two ways to do that. You can sign off a document um, or you can do a direct observation. Um, whenever we review the records in what we call the record re review window, you look at the record and you say, I want to sign it. And only, you know, certain people can sign it if they have the permissions. So this record looks good. I'm signing it. If there's any issues, we resolved them, yes or no. And um, that's verified. It'll have your name on it yeah. and the date and the time. And then also, if say for instance, HACCP requires a direct observation, um, if you walk with the person that's doing that check and on the tablet, there's a little check mark, when you select that and it, it'll prompt that person that is observing to put in a pin in their user ID. And that's saying, hey, I direct observe this. You have to do it with them before they submit it. So there's no you know, way around going in there and saying, oh, I did this, but you weren't actually there. Yeah. And that's a great point, right? So everyone has their own login, right? And Safety Chain kind of knows if you're a manager and you have the authority, right, so, to make yeah. that either direct observation or that check, right? And it's only going to allow you, Bell, to make that check. And there's a little, and there's a pin involved, right? So if you're doing that uh, at the workstation or if you're at, on the floor, it's going to ask you, oh, wait, are you really Bell? Is this really, you know, and that's when you put in that verification code. So that's great. And there's, that is the, that, that is the two ways to do it, right? And it's important. You get, you have to have that uh, as a part of the program. So, uh -huh. and Safety Chain was built, built with it, right? So good question. Yes. Appreciate that, Frank. Good. Um, well, that's uh, that's it. We've got uh, we have just a second. If you go to the last slide, I'll let everyone know. Um, uh, we're, we're wrapping it up with with Bell and Eric. Lots of other information if you want. Um, some COVID related stuff, food and safety. We've got a great blog on safetychain.com. Follow us on me on social media, and keep keep after us. We'd love to talk with you. A lot of this, you know, uh, is it it really depends on how you run your facility. And that's when we have to kind of show you all these questions, like Frank's question. That's a great question, right? Easier to see it. So if you're interested in the demo, of course, go over, fill it out. We'll, we'll follow up with everyone on the phone. Um, and we hope uh, you got a good, uh, a, a good value out of discussing Claxton Poultry with Eric and Bell. And so with that, I want to wrap it up. Eric, thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Welcome back from vacation. And, and uh, best of luck to you, Bell.
with the new facility coming on board. You know, we've got David, yay! And um, um, we, we appreciate your time today and we, we really value you as uh, customers as well. So thank you, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. All right, and that ends it for everyone. I appreciate it. Again, this is Aaron Bolshaw with Safety Chain. Um, we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone, cheers.